Antara tiga was here ni, antara tiga was just surrounding South Pole and India was here. With the other continents, this is India. You know. How it came out? Because there are some extension. You have to understand, na? This is India. This is Australia. This is Africa. This is Antarctica. Understood, na? Now this India has to come out. So there has to be extension here, na? So there was extension here. So passive margin was created. Inside India, you have rift valleys, like you know, Kutch. Or Jaisalmi, or Tirunelveli, all those things are within the continent. Within the continent, there are rift valleys, but around the continent, you have passive margins, PCMs. So here, PCM within this is your rift valleys. Within this, alone. Now, when you are developing this, and you are compressing here, this is a zone of compression. Imal, this is a zone of extension. Hello na. Now how India will go there? India is such a yeh laga hua hai na. Is wo laga hai. Aur idhar bhi kuch laga hai hoonge. Idhar bhi laga hai hoonge na. So it is what you know. It has slight slip parts on both sides. Then only India will move. Other you know details. Connected to the other continents. So you must have read about ninety trees. Padha ke nahi padha. Someone. Someone called Owen fracture zone. You must have read. Someone called the Owen fracture zone. So these are tricyclic faults, but the transform faults are on both sides of India. So they are zone of both extension and compression. उसमें मिलेंगे ना आपको. But here there is zone of compression. Here this is a. Hello, na? No problem so far, na? That is why I say the noise tricyclic fault is a necessity. For normal fault to happen or the reverse fault. And that is what I am going to talk. Okay. Now, these things must in detail will be yeah. Because I have to explain something in soil tectonics. That is why I brought it like. Now, what is said you know? Suppose. There is a basin. So this is the extension of city. The basin is there. The shallow basin. Initially, it has to be shallow basin. So a salt bed is deposited like this. Salt bed is deposited. Then what happened? Then gradually, you know, this will gradually separate out. More sediment that will happen. See, like this, you see. It became the so salt bed is here. Other rocks, other rocks are occurring like this. This is your salt bed. So I know that this is the salt. So gradually basin is becoming deeper and wider because extension is going on. It will never be filled up. You see, how is it going to be filled up? You know, but Bay of Bengal will not be filled up. You, itna Himalaya is getting eroded away. So much of flood sediments are coming, but Bay of Bengal will not be finished. But number of things you know inside India has finished, like you know, Kambe Grave, Gondwana, all are finished, you know. <coughs> but Bay of Bengal, I can see, will not be finished. Why? Continuously, continuously extension is taking place. You know? The basin is becoming deeper, deeper. Wider and wider. This will continue, you know. The Himalaya is totally finished up. You know that way. Entire 80 kilometer of Himalaya thickness. What is thickness of Himalaya? 9 kilometer above and another uh, some 70 kilometer below. You know. Everything is eroded away. You know. Tap tap day of Bengal Arabian Sea will be getting deeper and deeper. Tap tap. It will not be filled up. When entire Himalaya will be penetrated. Then Aryan civil valleys or the Bay of Bengal will come. Till then, it has to be becoming wider and deeper. So that is why you know the salt bed which was formed at the top now it has gone down. Beautiful. 
So then inversion takes place, na? The sediments are becoming denser and denser because of burial, but salt bed does not change its density. That is the main reason the inversion takes place. So now here he is describing three things, you know. This we will see later, huh? gradually we will go. So what he says, you know, a salt bed is here. This is under extension. Suppose the normal faults are developing. Draw this case, huh? One normal thing, normal faults are hitting at this point. From this point. So this is first stage. Stage one, huh? But you have a salt bed below, and the overlying sediments undergo extension and form some valleys. Now, this salt bed will start rising. Called a mini basin. We produce the mini basin at the top. With the creation of the mini basin, the salt bed started rising. Why salt bed started rising? Because the because it, dense, it has now become less dense compared to these things. And now you have produced a less thick beds here in overland. Here it was quite big. But now it has been reduced, the thickness has been reduced because of faulty. So this will start rising from here. So why extension took place there? See, it's a continuous extension, see? I will again tell you. Suppose initially the crust was here and you extended. You extended. So the faults are developing here. Faults are developing. Now suppose this fault created a basin. Still extension is going on. Extension going on. So the faults will develop on it also. What can be done? That is the thing. With continuous extension is taking place. So when this extension took place, this thickness becomes less compared to this. So salt but started rising there. You don't understand this part now. So can you classify this whether it is a reactive or active or passive? Reactive in response to some faulty. It is a reactive. A reactive type is. Otherwise it was sitting there at the depth. Now we created some fault and the thickness of the overlying strata become less. So it started rising. So you would name it as a reactive type. So with all basins, you know, where uh, the activity is still continuing, the active diet, uh, reactive diet will be Now subsequently what happened? Subsequently what happened? <laughs> now, it has started rising. It has started rising. Now, it is like this. Draw this catheter. Then it will further rise. It will further rise. What I am doing? Well, once that start rising has started, you cannot stop it because the material will flow from here and become bigger and bigger, larger and larger. You know. So this is some sort of reactive. No, sorry, active. From reactive to active. Why? Because the in initiation was taken by fault. Once fault is there, this has started rising, you cannot stop it now. It will go on rising, rising, rising. Once the activity is started, 
that is why a reactive type breathing has taken over by active type breathing. Now, even though there is no fault, no faulting taking place, but since the rising of or die breathing has started, it will continue. It will continue till what? Till it becomes or reaches at the top. When it reaches at the top, still then it may not stop there. It will spread, you know. So this may go to, it may become like this, above, and it may become spreading over like this, you know. Spreading over. So from a reactive to active to passive, you see, here, since it has come up, you know, it will try to spread. You don't understand point now. Here there is no faulting anymore. If the, if initially there was faulting, so reactive. Later on there is no faulting, but since it is rising, it will rise. And here it has come to the top surface, still then it will flow out. Passive. Something like that. So this is how the salt bed from the depth, you know, will come out as a salt sheet or salt above thing. As salt sheet or above thermos. So this happens in case of an extensional sheet. The extensional setting you have this type of normal force and normal force results in thinning of strata the rock strata becomes thin because of thinness the salt type started rising so initially it is reactive then even though there is no normal faulting now still when it will rise as an active type region then it reaches at the top still when it rises because of its density contrast to rises and forms a spread sheet or salt sheet all of them. So this, this is how the salt type region takes place in a extension. All of this point are not tell Another example he gives to no, understand this part. Huh. Sir, in the case of a foil being formed over there, you have a basin being held up. This is what I told the mini basin. So then you have sedimentation happening in that basin also. Also. Then the but they are all lighter. No, no, if salt is coming up through this. Yeah. So here sedimentation is taking place. That is what you are telling, huh? Sedimentation is taking place. So what it will do? It will pierce through it. Yes, lighter, no? Lighter. So and the sheet that is developed will be over there. Over there. Over this, at the surface. Understand that? Initially it was inside. Because of the faulting, the thickness of the strut, overlying it becomes less. So then it started pushing from the air, forming a triangular type of type. Gradually it rises up, rises up. Here there is a mini basic. Sedimentation will definitely go in But since these are lighter, less porosity, thin or more porosity. So it is lighter, so it will pierce through it and spread out. So uh, if it is lighter, there will only be any density involution. Which is lighter? The Salt is right lighter. So the low sediments are it is started rising, no? It is started rising. The lighter sediments above. This is more porosity li li yeah, lighter. More porosity. So now here there would be wouldn't be any density So that's so what what you are telling is this uh, heavier mm -hmm. than this. That is what I am telling you. Yeah? But now it is in the flow piercing. That is the thing. I will just blast it through. Whatever is lying above me, I don't care for it. Because from this side and this side, you know, the salt has started moving up. So this thickness will be very less. Whatever new sediments remain over it, that will be very less. And they are all fractured. Because the extension is going in a fracture. That is why. That, what you say, the less density does not account for stopping it, you know. It cannot stop it. It will amount of it. Uh, what I was saying was that salt flows because of density. 
third flow uh, because of density inversion that is one of the reason and second reason is you know because the thickness is less it is pushing through pushing through. these are all combined factors just because the density is less or more it cannot create a diffusion all these things are necessary suppose this bed is lying there quite for some time even though it is lighter it is lying there for quite some time why because there is no way to go out once the fracture started happening over it you know it started rising so its quality you know now is expressed you know where it is helped by this tectonic features just by because it is less dense it cannot rise it requires certain amount of reactivity all this point now. so from a reactive to active to passive in the the other part you know what he says you know suppose this is solid and you have this bed same picture i'm drawing same picture but the faults you know instead of they are con concentrated to the upper part they are like this you see they are like this the faults may continue till the salt bed here it is only concentrated to the upper bed here it is going to the base of the overlying strata or reaching the salt bed so here i will write that the faults reaching the salt bed salt bed so there it was not reaching only overlying so when it reaches the salt bed it cannot continue further can you tell me why once it reaches the salt bed they cannot continue further why this is ductile material this cannot continue further so these faults they just terminate over here so next what happens they take a step like this individual fault blocks you know they rotate that day i asked you to draw a sketch na like this you know this is salt this is the salt bed ha huh? and here the block they are rotating they are rotating why this rotation takes place this i will tell you later in normal fold i will discussing in normal but this individual blocks they will rotate understand na when they rotate this is called a rotational fold or rotational faulted block rotational faulted block when this rotation takes place you know because the faults are continuing through the salt bed the salt bed is ducted so this one the surface you know the top of the salt so it was say the detachment or decolma remember i'll discuss this in later detachment or decolma understand na because these blocks they are behaving separately this is an isolation the faults cannot continue below not the rotation cannot continue below so this salt bed works as a detachment so these blocks when they rotate you know this salt start rising here so here it will rise you know this is a salt diving <coughs> salt diving reactive reactive diving because the faulting took place and the rotation happened so once they established the geometry like this once they started rising you know 